What is going on, people of YouTube? This is another beta video for Football Manager. We are going into the season today. I forgot to mention, my name is Kurt Yo. Hopefully, we'll be turning into your source for Football Manager 2015 gameplay content and also little tips and tricks and tactics along the way. Now, we're going to be jumping straight into our first game of the season and maybe going into our second game of the season after that. But our team still needs a lot of work. Like I said in the last episode, I had an absolutely terrible transfer window. I only really signed one player that matters, and that is Big Rimana, as Simshov does not have a work permit. So if I go on that, um, he can't play because he hasn't got a work permit, and I have no idea how to get him a work permit. So for now, that's really quite bad from me. We can get rid of... Um, can we? No, we can't get rid of the sub-8. I was going to say we needed to get rid of our 8th sub, but oh well. We cannot get rid of it now. I thought we'll get rid of it automatically. But the team we're going to play with, I think they've got quick pick. We're just going to do that for simplicity. We are playing away at Brighton. Away, that means that we're going to play a defending midfielder. Hopefully we'll get Semi in there. Uh, where do you want to play Semi? Uh, where can Semi play well? I want him to be a deep... No, not deep line playmaker. I've got is that I should have anchor man there. Oh, this isn't good. That means my tactics haven't saved. This is a catastrophe. Oh, no, it has. It's just that one that didn't save. But we need an anchor man there with semi. We've got the roaming playmaker in big mana, and then we also have the box to box midfielder, in which we have Reese McCabe. Now I want to see McCabe is I like that for everything pretty much. So that is all right. Let's do our bench quickly. Kieran Lee, he's on the bench. We can use him I suppose, Dealner will also have to be there, Atinuhu and Gazmadine both there, yeah this is quite a poor start and we're going to be in trouble if I don't sign any more players but this is the team we're sticking with, we've got our top 7 on the bench, or not top, top 7, we've got our top 18 on the pitch, I think my top team is a good team, it's just the players that are behind that just are just lacking at the moment especially of injuries but let's jump straight into the game I'll see you in there got it down the wing here to Maguire what can he do with this let's whip it in let's get the ball in let's put May to strike it into the back of the defender oh, we still got chance though oh Maguire back in oh how did you miss hello let's close this down snuff out this attack Let's put a ball in and again we've got it away. We're looking strong at the back. However, they are really on top of us in the midfield, and that's something we really need to sort out quick. As Barnes puts the ball in, we head it out. Crofts. Ninis now. Don't don't let him shoot. Get the blocks in, get the blocks in. Calderon's ran in. Another good save from Westwood. He's keeping us in this. We are really under pressure. Let's get this out. So hopefully get an attack underway. We haven't had much of the ball at all. Let alone get an attack away. Trent is a player that can really get something on. Does that mean Calderon's off? 40 minutes in. It must be. Come on. Send him send him off, ref. Get him off the pitch. If he's off, then we have a ticket. We've just been given a free ticket back into this game at the expense of um Calderon. Well, I don't know what his first name is. Oh no. Oh no, we've improved keepers, keepers no longer make retarded saves, keepers are more realistic. Well McCabe wide, Matok find, puts the ball in, Maguire's there, what a finish, that is too quick though. We'll leave it on that one, what a finish that was, what an entrance into the goals in this season. Definitely beats the free kick. Definitely going to be one of my contenders for goal of the season. And now we have a chance of really stomping our authority here. Matok again with another good ball in. Maguire's in there. Can't get a shot away. Palmer with the shot. Oh! Oh, didn't you see the tapping though. We're 2 1 up. This game has been turned right on its head at the start of the second half. And now, surely, if we get another goal, we must be on our way to our first three points of the season here. As we head the ball back out with Samido Corrie to play the ball away. Approaching two minutes now, hoof the ball over the top, I don't care. Oh, the easy through. Oh, good save, Stockdale. 
second corner because that's pretty much the end of the match now. It is. There we go. We have won our first game 2-1. I'm not going to complain, although it was pretty much handed to us with the um, with the sending off of Calderon. I will take that though. Nothing specific mentioned. I think that was really special. Good performance. You know, we were poor in the first half. We pulled it around. Look at that. 29 shots they had, but they didn't win. We won. That's all that matters. And I think we're going to go straight on to game number two for this episode. Welcome back everyone, we are in game number two, we have not got another league game, we have got the League Cup, otherwise known as Capital One Cup. We are away at Tranmere, we're not going to play the same old defending formation, we're going to maybe, I think we can afford to change things up and go for a two up top formation in which we will, I'm thinking keeping May, but we're also going to put um, Ati Nuhi up front. And we're going to keep the team as it is to a point because we do need to make a few changes. So Stobbs is going to come in for Maguire. Maguire will, however, go on the bench in the place of Jose Semedo. Kieran Lee, no, not Kieran Lee, sorry, Paul Corey will come on for McCabe. And fairly good rating as he play as a. What is he we got there? Central midfielder, central midfielder. No, we don't want that. We want box to box. And then we want roaming playmaker. There we go. Those are the ones we want. We want to have winger inside forward, target man, advance forward. That's the squad we are going to play. Let's jump straight into game number two. I'll catch you all in there. And we are in. And I have to say, it's looking much smoother. Um, than it was before for frame rise so that is always good we are straight onto the attack here just inside a minute here comes Corey inside the box what a finish that is what a start we have we are one new up Paul Corey showing why he should be in the first team IRL with a wonderful strike and I have to admit we have hit a couple of belters already I'd say two in the first two games is not bad I think we might have this game already let's see what the youngster Stobbs can do it's a good ball in, oh May goes down, but Nuhi who is there to tap the ball in, just gone 6 minutes, we are 2 new up, I think this game is already in the bag. Drenta is going to have to stay on for now, well they're moving the ball around well here with power, oh that's a strike, that's hit the post, they've got a tap in and we are under pressure now because we have not made a good highlight since around the 10th minute, and they've had all the possession, all the chances, and we could be in for extra time here if we're not careful. We are in danger of being embarrassed here, and I am in danger of really eating, <laughs> eating my words after saying that six minutes in, this game was over and done with. I have to admit, I do like the new player engine, whatever you want to call it. Oh, McKay bursting through. That's what you want to see from a box-to-box -box and field player. And that is what you want to see. A good counter-attacking move, and we have just ended this game now. Actually ended it this time. I'm not going to say it in the 6th minute, I'm saying in the 86th minute. This game is over and done with. Oh my goodness, I didn't expect that. Howard's just scored a belter. Wow, where'd that come from? Steve Howard. Bloody hell. Well, I would say they're back into this, but it's way too late from them. Um, if we wouldn't have scored, that would have been quite a way to send us into extra time but well what a finish anyway and it's just a shame it came too late there we go hallelujah it is over we have won 3-2 I'd say we've scraped through um, today it's not been the best of um, performances yeah I'd say most people agreed with that we got away with one because we did get away with one that's a poor performance but nevertheless Thank you guys for watching this episode, we have grabbed two wins today, we won 2-1 away at Brighton and we won 3-2 away at Tranmere, I think that's what's good. We got two good wins away, now we need to take that, um, those two wins and take it into our next league game, which is, I'm assuming, a home one, I'll can have a look quickly. Um, yeah, next two games, so next episode we'll have Derby and Millwall, both home games, so hopefully two good results, maybe even two wins. As you can see, look at that form, not even 
lost yet. We've only drew against Calgary. So that is good from us. If you like the video, leave a like. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Subscribe if you feel like I'm worthy. And I'll catch you all in the next episode. Peace.